Hi, this is your latest Hurricane Tracker app video update recorded August 16th, 2013 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We have three systems in the Atlantic Basin that we are tracking here in the Hurricane Tracker app. First and foremost, we have Invest 92L, which we're giving a 60% chance of tropical development during the next uh, couple of days. We have Aaron here in the Eastern Atlantic, which was downgraded to a tropical depression earlier today due to a, a lot of dry air the storm is battling and we have a new tropical wave that will be emerging off of the coast of Africa here during the next day or so and that system has a 60 percent chance of developing within the next few days and it does have quite a bit of support from the computer model so that may be a system we'll need to watch down the road as it begins to head westward we're going to first uh, begin with tropical depression air and the system only has 35 mile per hour winds. It's moving to the west northwest at 17 miles per hour. It is forecasted to remain a tropical depression and stay out in the open Atlantic. It will not move west and affect any land masses. And there is a possibility it could weaken to a remnant low during the next day or two. Moving closer to home, we want to give you a, a close up view here of Invest 92L and kind of explain what's going on with the system. First and foremost, you'll notice this roll down here. Now I'm going to highlight it here. This is a very weak low-level center, which has just kind of been drifting around down here throughout the day. The bigger circle where you see the main twist in the atmosphere is the uh, spin in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, about five to 10,000 feet up. And this lower, uh, sorry, the smaller uh, L you see here represents a possible new uh, low-level center and if you look at the last few frames of the visible it looks like a new low-level center may be trying to form in here and then of course we have all of the deep moisture and precipitation uh, streaming out of the Caribbean and off of the Yucatan Peninsula and it is trying to wrap around it, it does appear it is uh, trying to organize there was an upper level low above this invest and it does appear that upper level low has weakened or merged with the mid-level center and it does look like the conditions may become more favorable over the next two to three days especially as this system uh, the low level features just kind of slowly meander west or west northwest here in the Gulf of Mexico looking at the low level vorticity for Invest 90 l this is the amount of spin in the lower levels of the atmosphere so there's a very vigorous rotation and normally when you see this amount of vorticity uh, it makes it a little bit easier for systems to uh, spin down to the surface so we're going to be watching this system very closely and in fact if we uh, move on over to the wind shear maps and I'm going to go ahead and highlight this here for you here's the Yucatan Peninsula our system is located down in this area here and the darker colors indicate little to no wind shear. All of the wind shear is located basically here in the northwestern or north uh, central Gulf of Mexico right now. So it is in a favorable environment. The waters are very warm down there in the Gulf of Mexico. And um, the computer models want to take the low level feature here basically off towards the north northwest or west northwest and then the general consensus is towards the uh, lower Texas coast possibly even into northern Mexico and we'll explain here in just a moment a couple of the different scenarios as to the future track of this system there are still some computer models that are wanting to develop this is a look at the Canadian you can see it bring in the low pressure here that we just showed you out of the southern Gulf of Mexico and it moves it north northwest or towards the upper Texas or maybe even southwest Louisiana coast and you can see that uh, during the next couple of days it does develop a pretty healthy uh, tropical cyclone likely a weak depression or a minimal tropical storm and there are a couple of other models this is the uh, HWRF model this is a little bit further uh, southern track than what the Canadian model was showing but it is showing the system organizing into a tropical cyclone and moves it west northwest into the northern coast of Mexico here during the next uh, two to three days. And here's a third model showing uh, possible tropical development uh, GFDL model. Shows a, a little bit weaker system than the uh, Canadian model but it does bring it north northwest here. 
and to the lower Texas coast. So definitely the possibility of tropical development obviously cannot be ruled out. Now the reliable models, the GFS and the uh, Euro models, are basically showing just small levels of uh, vorticity, uh, just basically a uh, strong tropical wave affecting the uh, northern Gulf Coast. And basically, if you live in the southeast United States, unfortunately there's going to be more rainfall on the way. You can see here southwest Louisiana up through uh, the Florida Panhandle, southern Georgia, anywhere from uh, four to seven inches of rain are possible. The reason for this is we, this is we have a sh uh, long wave trough here that is digging uh, towards the southern United States and the flow out ahead of that trough is out from the southwest so it's going to pick up this moisture that is streaming up from the Caribbean and if you will it will kind of channel or funnel it here right into the southeast United States. So the biggest impact with this system is definitely going to be the rainfall. Uh, we could see even uh, isolated amounts of 10 inches in some of these areas here in the Florida Panhandle. But uh, over the next three days, it's going to be uh, more rain, unfortunately, for this part of the country. And we can already see uh, we have some rainfall already beginning to show up on the radar here across the Florida Panhandle and into southern Georgia. And this will just continue to increase uh, throughout the next few days. This is a great graphic uh, by the Weather Channel showing locally three to five inches, maybe six inches or more here in the orange shaded areas. And the further north and west you go, uh, the uh, lower the rainfall totals will end up being. So basically the best forecast we can give at this time is plenty of rain here uh, for the northeastern Gulf Coast. That is almost a guarantee at this point. And maybe what we will see will happen is, is a low level center quite possibly could uh, form here into a, a tropical depression or weak tropical storm and this system could kind of split with part of the energy going west-northwest towards south Texas or northern Mexico and then the uh, other part of the energy swinging up here northeast into the uh, uh, northeast part of the Gulf of Mexico so there is still a possibility we could see a tropical cyclone spin up uh, if it did, we uh, right now we think it would impact an area somewhere the mid to lower Texas coast or maybe even down into northern Mexico. So there is still some hope that these drought stricken areas could still receive some rain. But again, we will be watching this very closely. And we will be uh, keeping an eye on the latest satellite runs throughout the night and tomorrow morning. But definitely uh, considering the past couple days, we didn't see this amount of spin and it looks like uh, conditions are becoming more favorable. Overall, the system is more developed. And because of those reasons, we are giving this a 60% chance of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next couple of days. We hope you enjoyed our video update, and uh, we will be back with uh, more tomorrow. And if you're interested in the Hurricane Tracker app, check out hertracker.com. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you have a great night.